and welcome to your reading. Before we get started, please watch this short video. Please don't forget to check out my small business, aubreysenchantedcandles.com. First time customers receive 15% off. These are homemade candles with organic soy wax topped with real herb. And you can also subscribe and save 15% off. So please go check this out and support my small business. For the week of December 14th to the 20th, it is the new moon of Sagittarius. And for everyone, this means, you know, seeking out new opportunities for learning and growth um, and in pursuits like read a book, take a class. But above all else, this adventure sign is a student of life. What we're seeking at this new moon is the kind of wisdom that only can be gained from experience. So go ahead and tap into to that this week we are going to start off with Sagittarius because it is the Sagittarius of a new moon so Sagittarius the cards have already been shuffled um, I do want to mention that I have made some angel affirmation cards just because I um, could not get my own as of right now but don't you worry I have um, tested it before we are doing this reading so this is the first time I'm using them so this is going to, going to be great all right Sagittarius so we are going to get started with you this is for December 14th to the 20th so let's go ahead and pull some tarot for this week what is in store for Sagittarius Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. Yes, we are moving along. Okay, that one wanted to pop out. One more for Sagittarius. December 14th to the 20th. All right. So we have the Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Fool, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, the Emperor, and Ten of Cups. Okay. So, Sagittarius, you are ha I'm starting the week with Three of Pentacles. We're going to break it down one by one. Yes, so... There has been a lack of knowledge, and this could have been revolved around family matters, business matters, you know, lack of knowledge with um, collaboration, you know, following your dreams, really. Um, this could have been, you know, Capricorn um, energy here. But with this, it's like it's warning you that the interplay of work, passion, and vision has been disrupted. So yes, there is a, no a lack of knowledge for this. Um, this could be within you, within your environment. Um, the situation in question may involve the workplace. But the problem suggests that this card can apply to any scenario when it revolves, you know, relationships or any social interaction okay so lack of knowledge there um or maybe you're just being disrupted by something okay ten of pentacles reversed okay so ten of pentacles yeah it's like there was a loss uh maybe um in your life or there was a loss of vision okay there was definitely a loss of or a lack of maybe family um wealth there was definitely a loss here okay with the full card coming in reversed maybe it could have been uh due to taking like these risky like these risky jumps right so you are definitely no fool but there was some carelessness here 
um, and that's why you're lacking. That's why you haven't been so knowledgeable. But I do see here like you are charging through. Um, you're taking action um, to to pull through this right this week. So with this being right in the middle here my bad with this being right in the middle it's like yes you are taking charge of this scenario like you no longer want to be lacking in this area right so you're taking charge you're taking the responsibility this week um you could be a father figure or mother figure you know um this could be man or woman uh, for Sagittarius, but you are definitely taking charge for what you want, okay? With the Knight of Cups coming through, you could have been going through some trickery, maybe in your mind, um, but it's like there you are definitely feeling like joy and peace maybe true romance it's like this is charming right you are definitely on your throne um or your horse your stable like you are like you're wanting to be stable right and you're taking the action to gain the this joy and this peace and and romance in your life um you're taking action to have this responsibility um to move forward right and no longer feel so blinded or disrupted uh this week Sagittarius so yeah like I said with the new moon you know really learn be the student of life right uh with the ten of cups coming in reversed yeah this could been due to creative um, there, there must have been a creative energy block. So really dig deep down into, uh, what you love. What's your passion, Sagittarius? Like, what do you like to do? Learn that. Master it. Take that responsibility. Take charge. Okay? Move forward so that you can be, um, able to experience this true joy, peace, you know, romance, um, whatever this resides within you, um, please, be the student of life, um, especially with this uh, new moon coming in. Like, this is you, okay? You are representing that, that learning curve, right? So learn about you. Take charge. Take responsibility. All right, so we are going to pull some results for... Sagittarius from the 14th to the 20th. So yeah, look here. <laughs> you are going to become victorious, okay? You are like moving through. You're going to be able to um, continue on your path. And I do apologize if you hear my husband in the background. He is playing Fortnite and streaming. So I do apologize. He gets so hyped up. But yes, um, <laughs> It, it, it just means, like, excitement. Like, look, look at the people, like, cheering for you, okay? Like, they are cheering you on, Sagittarius, okay? So this is the result of this, um, of this action, you know, take responsibility. Okay, so that's the result. Let's go ahead and pull some advice. All right, here we go. Advice for Sagittarius. Woo. Yeah, let go of the hurt, the betrayal, any heartbreak, anybody that stabbed you in the back, let them go, okay? Follow you in, follow your intuition. Follow your intuition so that you can have balance uh, in your life. If you haven't uh, meditate, meditated before, start meditating. Really clear your mind from that. And, um, you know, you are going to be receiving some wealth. Um, like, look, these, these people are looking up to you, um, and you are going to be receiving, um, whether not, not just wealth, but knowledge. Okay. And, and that can be spread to different people. You know, what you learn, spread that, you know, spread that to different people. Don't just hang on to it. Um, because that's going to help people in need. Um, and it's going to build up your repetition as well. 
Um, so don't be afraid to share your wealth, but don't give too much of yourself, right? So it's like we tend to give, 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 and not enough is coming back to us. So don't forget to give back to yourself, but also give back to others as well. So that is your reading for this week and like i said i'm going to pull some positive affirmations um, from the angels okay so i'm just going to shuffle these and then we are going to split these in half we're going to pull five of them for the week my thoughts are my reality so i think above a bright new day okay so what this means is sometimes you wake up on the wrong side of the bed right so every day is a brand new day as long as you think today is gonna be a good day it will be a good day so really keep that in mind this week okay and um, we have the second card out. I let go of worries that drain my energy. Yes, so let go of, you know, what people tell you. Let go of the lack of vision or the, or the, the betrayal um, and, and really come into your, to your balancing, right? Um, what's next? I follow my dreams no matter what, Sagittarius, no matter what. Follow your passion. Follow your goal learn new things because that is really going to help you get into um you know true happiness here with the knight of cups true happiness true joy so that you can experience this this fulfillment again okay what is next we have Distance yourself from that which is stressing you out and look at it from a different perspective. This will help you find the solutions you seek. So yeah, distance yourself from any negativity. Um, this could be like relationships, right? Because this is all about relationships, collaborating with others, you know, like... Um, don't be like too closed up like a hermit, but also like distance yourself from any like stressful situations. This could revolve around family members, you know, um, anybody that stresses you out. Just like look at it from a different perspective and find a solution because there's always a solution, right? All right. From now on, I choose to always be hopeful, stay focused on my chosen path, and be steadfastly determined to reach my goals. So yes, stay hopeful, stay focused. All right. Take action this week to really find out what your goals are um, and what path you need to be on because and take the responsibility and... Um, Tap into your creativeness because that's going to help you um, reach your goals this week, Sagittarius. What a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this resides within you, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Your feedback is so important. And um, next up is Capricorn. Take care. And other timestamps are listed below. Hello, Capricorn, and welcome to your reading from the 14th to the 20th. We are going to get started with your reading. The cards are already shuffled, so let's start and see what is happening with Capricorn this week. just right off the bat okay you're letting go of this battle because there is some um will of fortune reversed okay so i just want to talk about this real quick so there is definitely some major karmic events happening okay you are letting go of the battle that you have been facing and this could have been happening for years and years. It has something to do with your past, right? So it is a good idea to postpone any major change that involves risk taking. So don't take any risk this week, okay? It is very crucial 
not to turn a hill into a mountain, okay? Because you are getting over this battle or attempting to with the seven of wands. You are, it's like you are trying to make a decision. It's like you're in limbo right now, okay? So let's see what is going on with Capricorn for the rest of the week. Yeah, you need to collaborate with others with the Three of Pentacles. You definitely have to work on this energy, um, make a decision, collaborate with others. Maybe you could be um, a lack of knowledge somewhere with the Three of Pentacles. But um, it's definitely like follow your dreams here Capricorn like this is you all the way this is Capricorn energy um, with this being you know right in the middle you definitely have to love your work and bring knowledge into your life okay um it's like a it's like a rhythm okay of passion and work to energize one another okay um you may be finding it easier to apply yourself to a task, whereas before you weren't able to, okay? Um, you know, interpreting the criticism in a positive way. When people, you know, say something, it's not meant to hurt you. It's meant to really bring that knowledge and help you learn and grow in this process so don't feel like others are trying to put you down this week it just means that they want you to grow okay and this could um, benefit you uh, benefit you materially as well as spiritually okay so um, definitely collaborate with others um, we are definitely having a lot of relationship advice, you know, just really listen to what people have to say this week, okay? So very beautiful Capricorn. I am definitely loving this reading so far. What is next for Capricorn? Okay. Don't let anybody dull your shine, <laughs> okay? This is like maybe in the past people have really doled you um, and you weren't able to see your abilities. Like when you flip this upside down, this is like you shining, okay? Don't let anybody dull your shine. Um, just because they tell you, hey, this is what you need to work on or hey, um, you know, it, it can mean anything, but don't let them make you feel like they're going to dull your shine, okay? Because you have the upper hand, right? And with the death card coming in reverse, like that doesn't mean anything bad. It just means what's important in your life right now. Um, don't take, you know, risk because you have to have an understanding of what you're doing, okay? What's more important, to you at this very moment and work on it work on what's important in your life whether it re be revolved around um money relationships um what is important what is um your breaking point and it's like you can't fight what's happening right now okay it's the, it's karmic event it's written in the stars okay with the sun card coming through it's like you are on fire you are um basically the chosen one okay but you have to see that within yourself and and this also don't 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 dull your own shine okay i feel like um that that's coming out to me don't dull your own shine um because i know a lot of us can be wrapped up in our head like why are they saying these things? Why why are they being this way? Well, they're doing it to help you grow so that you can come into this shine, okay? Um, let's go ahead and pull some more tarot. 
Right, so four of wands reversed. Okay, this means this is not bad. The angels are definitely coming through with the with the 1111. Um, uh, this could be like twin flame. Um, but it's like this in reverse. This is like true romance, peace, um, and prosperity, growth. But with it being in reverse, it's like there's a delay. It's like your flight got delayed, right? So it's still going to manifest. You just really, really have to work at it this week. Collaborate, like I said, go back to collaborating um, with, with others. You know, take ownership of what you are doing wrong and try to fix it, right? Um so also with this being in reversed, it's just like relax, okay? Take your time. It's not all going to unfold all at once and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. So let's see the results. So if you collaborate with others and, you know, not doling your shine and, you know, really slowing down to relax, what is the result of this? Yeah, you're no longer going to be in battle with yourself. You're not going to be in battle with anybody else. You are going to take the upper hand. This is you, Capricorn, the king of wands. And with the King of Wands, it's really like you are a noble spirit. You are very smart. You are very loyal. It's just maybe in the past, people have not been loyal to you. Maybe in the past, people haven't been so noble to you so that you, you know. But, you know, when, when you get through this battle within yourself or with other people and, and you how do I say, take criticism the right way, you'll be able to be in the king of wands, right? So it's like, don't let your temper get the better of you, okay? What is the bigger picture? What is the future, you know, the sights of the future? Slow down when you feel that something is skipping over you, Um don't ignore any past failures because it is a lesson. It's a life lesson to be learned. But you are definitely um, going from rags to riches, pretty much. Um, and, and you are victorious, right? So you just have to stop battling yourself. Okay, let's pull another card. What is advice? Okay, so where you were seeking, um, maybe in the past there was um, a loss of power. Maybe you felt um, stagnant with the Knight of Cups. With the Ace of Swords, it's like your fight has ended quickly. You planted firmly on your opponent's back. You are now posing for all those trophy photos, okay? Like, you have the upper hand. You are in power of this. So, yes, don't deal with any of the trickery with the Knight of Cups Capricorn. You have the power. You have the upper hand. Um, don't let them dull your shine this week because you are loyal um, you know exactly what you want out of life. Um, it may be at a delay, but you are definitely working towards manifesting um, true happiness, true joy, and um, true fulfillment. So don't dull your own shine when it comes to this as well. That is your advice for the week. And as I have promised, for every sign I will be pulling some affirmations uh, so let's go ahead and shuffle. Then we're going to pull five affirmations here, okay? So I'm going to shuffle, split in half. All right, first card out. 
Stop dwelling on what could go wrong and start thinking of all that can go right. A positive attitude will bring more positive results. Yes, Capricorn, that's what I love. It's like sometimes we're just all up in our head. Um, start the day off with thinking everything's going to go right today. Okay, just say that in the mirror. Everything's going to go great today. And just watch what happens. You know, stop dwelling on what is going wrong in your life and start dwelling on the more positive very beautiful i trust my inner wisdom and intuition yes yeah, so if you haven't um, been meditating you know really like that gut feeling that deep down like really trust your intuition and what it's telling you this week I am a money magnet and attract wealth and abundance. And I do see that. You like you are working at um, you know, with the pentacles. It's like you're working at what you want in life and and this week that that wants to remind you like you are a money magnet. You attract the wealth, you attract the abundance. So let that, you know, let that flow through and don't dull that, okay? I replace anger with understanding and compassion. Yeah, I see Capricorn, like you are very hot-headed. You can be sometimes, right? So just replace that with understanding why you're angry. Stop and stop dwelling on what's going wrong and start replacing it with compassion, self-love. Okay, and last but not least, I am beautiful and smart, and that's how everyone sees me, right? So sometimes we think, you know, I'm not good enough, or, you know, everybody is is raining on my parade. Like this week, you know, angels really want to say that you are smart, you are beautiful, and that is how everybody sees you, and you are pretty much doling your own shine when you do that, okay? So just remember that everyone sees you just as smart and beautiful and handsome, I guess you can say, if you are a guy. So that is your positive affirmations, and that is your reading for this week. Next up is Aquarius. Other timestamps will be below. Take care. Hello Aquarius and welcome to your reading from the 14th to the 20th. We are going to get started. The deck is already shuffled and cut in half. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading Aquarius 14th to the 20th of December and also it is Sagittarius new moon. Um, so really like be a student of life. Okay, learn this week. Okay, first two cards out for Aquarius. Okay. Queen of Swords, the Empress. Okay. One more card for Aquarius. Or two. So I'm going to set this right actually. Okay. All right. So, first off, we have Seven of Pentacles. This is reverse. So, yeah, there's a lack of vision um, here this week. And maybe you just been feeling, like, stagnant. You aren't able to move forward with the Knight of Swords coming through also with the queen of swords there could be some like malicious intent going on i i see like you are a fierce individual aquarius but something is really like you have some malicious intent here with a knight of swords um it's like you're disregarding any consequences when it comes to these intentions okay um, that's not good, Aquarius. Uh, this week, you really need to, like, focus on why you're feeling like this, okay? Um, purify your intentions, right? So, this week, I mean, maybe you could be letting go of that or 
something is really bothering you the empress is coming through here in the middle um and this means with the empress it's like you are creative you can gain this abundance okay you can gain this growth but you have to let go of the malicious intent whatever is upsetting you let it go tap into your creativity because tapping into this creativity is going to give you the dreams to follow your dreams to get you what you want to manifest all of these things that you want so that you can have shared wealth okay so that you can get the wealth the abundance that you need to give to others right to make a difference right um, but it seems like you're not planning. You're not planning for the future. You're being you're being upset over these three cups when spirit is giving you this cup saying, here, take this. What are you waiting for? You're crying over this when the universe is saying, here, I have this to offer. So really tap into Aquarius. This is very, very powerful. Like really tap into your creativeness um and what is your passion because the it's right here it's like bam in your face you have it follow your dreams or pay attention to your dreams what is your dreams telling you because that's gonna get you um you know spirituality that's gonna get you manifesting your like everything that you want out of life you are gonna get the shared wealth you're going to get it and plus more but you really have to plan and it, it, you're not doing that. Plan out what you want and stop crying over spilled milk here. Okay, let's go ahead. What is the results of this if you do plan ahead? Okay, you're going to be on the horse. You're going to be moving. Knight of Pentacles. You're going to have the results you want. Results means results. <laughs> this is... You are going to have the reputation, the reliability, and the results, okay? Your approach to getting the word out may not be flashy, but it's earning you repetition to being an honest person. And others will know that they can count on you, but as long as you stay in this malicious intent, people are no longer going to want to work with you. With the Knight of Pentacles, your business plan is unfolding, but you have to plan look at the bigger picture you are definitely improving financially and it is at a predictable pace and you are going to start you know if you do plan it's going to be wise planning it's not just going to be oh let's just get it and be done with it no you are making the you're going to be making the correct choices but you have to stop dwelling on what's in front of you and start looking at what's not in front of you if that makes sense start looking at what is the spirits trying to what is the spirits trying to say and that could be relayed in dreams okay so maybe rest up and and see what the dreams have to offer but you are manifesting you're very strong okay um but let's go ahead and pull some advice you know moving forward what should aquarius do this week let go <laughs> okay we have all of these let go of the hurt, of the pain, of the mind agony, okay? The depression, the anxiety, let it go. Learn how to communicate. Stuff that you have been blinded to, like you are going to see. Don't feel like everybody has, like the whole world is on your shoulders because it's not. Ask for help when you feel like you need help. Let go of the sickness you know, let go so that you, you will no longer be out in the cold, right? Rest. Maybe you haven't been meditating enough. Rest your mind. Rest your soul. You've been feeling very imbalanced. Yeah. You, you've, been, you've been searching for this truth. You feel like there's injustice. You've been searching for this truth and you're really trying to like, look, dig deep into your intuition. What is your gut feeling trying to tell you? Because with the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, I just see like, let go so that you can experience this joy in your life. Like it's right in your hands, Aquarius. 
It's right there with the Ace of Pentacles. Don't be malicious and stoop down to their level. Don't let your soul become dark. Okay? And whenever you feel like you need to rest, do that. Because you do have divine gifts. You do have growth. Growth is there for you, but you can't lose sight of your of your balance and your intuition, right? You can't lose sight of that just because you're seeking the truth, okay? Let go. Let go of the hurt, the pain. Let go of the mind agony and really know that. It, and whenever you are feeling like that, rest so that you can let go of the lost opportunities and so you can fulfill yourself with the divine gifts that is there for you and the growth that you want to that you want to have, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some cards, some affirmation cards. They're positive. I did make them myself. So we're going to shuffle this a little bit and then we're going to pull five of them. All right, Aquarius, first card out. I draw from my inner strength and light. Yes, follow your strength, your light. What is your inner self trying to tell you? I forgive myself for all the mistakes I have made. Maybe there's something in the past that you um, are really like holding on to. Like forgive yourself for everything. Forgive others so you can move on. Okay, what's next? I kindly ask for guidance if I cannot see in an, another way. Ask your spirit guides. Look, they're there for you. They're saying, I am here to help you. You just have to ask and seek for it. My positive thoughts create positive feelings. Okay, so don't doubt for a second that can't feel these positive things like switch it's like turn that frown upside down smile and think about the positive things that are happening in your life instead of dwelling on the negative all the time last but not least your angels are saying listen to your intuition aquarius reoccurring ideas and innermost desires as they are all trying to tell you exactly what your body and your soul need listen to your intuition, your gut feeling. Things that you've been recurring, like ideas and innermost desires, like that is what you are. It's like you're soul searching for exactly. And it's like spirit is saying, you know, we got you. You just have to listen. Let go of this malicious intent. No more Aquarius. Okay, let it go. I have this song, let it go, let it go. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> All right. Well, that is your reading for the week of uh, the December 14th to the 20th. I hope this brings lots of clarity and light in your life. And don't forget, positive thoughts create positive feelings. Listen to your intuition and just really tap into your creativeness so you can manifest those dreams. And um, just be in the here and the now, okay? Like, have fun with what, with what life is throwing at you, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles. Just have fun, learn to rest, and everything will be okay. Lots of love and light headed your way. Don't forget to like, love, and subscribe. Comment below if this reading resonates within you. Your feedback truly means a lot. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. Next up is Pisces. All other timestamps will be below. Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your reading from December 14th to the 20th. Our cards are already shuffled and ready to go. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot for this week for Pisces December 14th to the 20th you are very noble you're loyal very beautiful to start off with with the king of wands we have your noble ways okay 
Pisces, December 14th to the 20th. Someone wanted to fly out. Death card, yes. Transformation. King of Swords. One more for Pisces. Okay, two more. Very beautiful. Okay, King of Wands. You are noble. People do look up to you, especially with the Hierophant. You are... Um, Harold Fence reversed this week. You are tapping into your spirituality. Um, you are definitely like thinking about like traditions. Um, this could um, be, you know, um, abundance and, and business, like your business is coming in. Um, but with this being in reverse, it's like you're being, you're being very noble, very loyal to your spirituality. Um, like you're gaining an understanding through this. And with the page of pentacles coming through reversed, you do have some scattered energies. It's like, what do I do? Where do I go from here? Um, it's like you're not applying them efficiently and you feel like you're wasting too much time. And that's probably right, but it's not the whole story, okay? You need to have a deeping you need to have a deeper understanding of what is important to you because there is a transformation going on. You're shutting off the old and you're going into this new person and that is the king of swords, right? So with the King of Swords, you are the power of life and death. You are a very wise person. You just have to learn how to use that spirituality correctly. Okay, with that coming through, um, don't be so quick to crazy actions, right? Because this is the Libra in you. Like, take a load off. Stretch your legs, okay? Don't be a, a, a know-it-all all, all the time, right? So, it's like this is your side of you pulling out the worst mess ever, okay? It's like you're, you're kicking and screaming to make it happen and you'll do just that, right? So, learn how to have a sharp mind, Think before you speak, okay? Don't let your ego get the best of you because if you do, you're not going to be able to move forward to your dreams, okay? With this, it's like your dreams are going to be delayed, right? Like you, it's going to stop you in your tracks. So have a better understanding. And with this, it's like, yeah, you are in the spiritual awakening or maybe you're being misguided somewhere or maybe um, with the uh, with the devil reverse, you know, that doesn't always mean bad. It could just mean like you have a misguided, um, misguided way. It's like, but you are in process of liberation. So it's not bad. It's just like you're, you're gradually waking up, right? You're gradually getting to your manifestation of dreams of what you want in life. Um, and it's like the dark no longer scares you. Instead, it fills you with like this curiosity, right? So it's like you may be like asking yourself all these questions, right? It's like you're no longer in these chains. So really like move forward from from being so e from being so ego ego. Like don't let your ego get the best of you. Because you are liberating, you're, you're free now to dream and, and tap into your spirituality and, and, have, the, and have riches and, and love and everything that you want, it's right there, Pisces. You just have to apply yourself and stop wasting so much time, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some more. Yes, this could be within the love your the love life okay maybe maybe you've been fighting okay maybe um you haven't been getting along lately um and and maybe you're not on the same page 
okay? But with the lover's card coming in reversed, it's trying to remind you to love yourself, okay? And really like align your values. What, what are you struggling with? Revise your thoughts. Revise your feelings about the love in your life. This could mean a twin, uh, be a twin flame. Maybe you're not getting along with them right now. Um, but it's like maybe you have all the wrong ideas about love or what it means to love somebody. So you are like quick to anger. I feel like you're not understanding. Maybe you weren't ready for a relationship, or maybe you can't let go of a bad habit or financial necessity, um, or, you know, maybe the love is an energy that is far more universal than what happens between two people, okay? So whatever that means to you, don't have little faith about love, okay? When this is reversed, it's an inner struggle. It's challenging you to rethink love in all of its fundamental terms, not just within a relationship, but real you know relationships yourself like really like what does love mean to you okay pisces so that unconditional love right it's, you don't just say you love them and then think another way it's like you truly love them you would do anything for them right but you have to be free from these chains and it looks like you are and it looks like you want to move forward but this quick-wittedness, you know, sometimes your barbaric actions gets the best of you, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some results, okay? Maybe you feel imbalanced, like you're juggling all of these things. So you're feeling unba imbalanced. Um, I do see here with the five of pentacles reverse, it's like you're you're getting over this darkness in your life. You're getting over this imbalance, okay? Sometimes you feel like you feel like the world is all on your shoulders. You know, ask for help. This really ties into like communication. Um this could be, you know, with your lover. Ask for help. It's not on not all on your shoulders, okay? Because guess what? You do have the true power. You know, you have power over your actions. You have power over your words. Really, like, tap into that. With the Ace of Swords, um, forget about the loss that happened. You're not losing anything. You do have the victory. You have the upper hand. You just need to learn how to apply it. And, you know, if you have been fighting... That fight is over. Be careful how you use this sword because it can cut yourself. Maybe sometimes you feel like, man, I shouldn't have said that or man, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you're cutting yourself. Like during a heated discussion or argument, you may get fired up about proving somebody, uh, proving to somebody that you're right and the other person is wrong. And others may be like siding with this other person just because you look like the jerk and you feel like the jerk. So deal with the rational understanding when this is reversed. And this suggests that you may be confused about a particular issue. Gather more information. Take the time to reflect. Don't always feel like everything's on your shoulders. Ask so that I can help you make the right decision this week. Because it is especially important, especially if you have received spiritual communications, right? So Pisces, you are very intuitive, but you don't want this lack of balance and, and this dark soul to come between you in love around you okay so make wise decisions and um yeah we have the death card coming through this can be a frightening sight these two because ask yourself how many times you've seen it appear in your reading how many times have you actually died since then as with the tarot the images of the visions are symbolic right to understand their true meaning you'll need to learn how to interpret them correctly so gain that knowledge or else you're going to be a victim of your own imagination it's basically saying don't be all up in your head right for some of you with the ace of swords this card becomes of unexpected wealth don't let that get to your head it can also suggest that a child may be on the way for some okay but for others this just means any heated moment really sit down and reflect because you don't want to end up hurting this person okay let's pull some advice be noble be loyal
pull some advice. Okay. <laughs> Plan for the future with the Three of Wands coming through. Moving forward, your dreams are coming true, Pisces. There is going to be great satisfaction in your life. Look for that strength within yourself to move forward. And with the star, this could be Aquarius. I also feel like maybe Twin Flame, Aquarius energy. Re really heal yourself. Find that strength within yourself to have that satisfaction in your life. What makes you happy? What makes you shine? What makes you the star, Pisces? Um, and your dreams are going to come true. You just have to let go of that anger, okay? Let's go ahead and pull some positive affirmations for this week. I'm going to shuffle. We're going to pull five cards. I trust myself to make the best decision for me. Sometimes we tend to confide in others, right? Like you have to really trust your intuition. What is best for you, Pisces, and your life and your decision making? Make the best choice for you, whatever that means, okay, to you. I am more than good enough and I get better every day. So yes, every day is a chip of like working like it's working at it you know you're not going to gain this in a blink of an eye right it's not like a snap of the finger everything's golden right really like if you want to manifest these dreams rest right heal yourself so that you can learn and love properly right and you're gonna get better every day at this Okay. I am an open channel for creative ideas. Yeah, really like don't bog down on yourself. Really tap into that creative idea, right? I compare myself only to my highest self. Yep, we tend to do that. Um, I myself, I am a Pisces, right? So we tend to compare ourselves to other people and, oh, they're doing so much better than me or oh, I could be doing this. And that's when we get upset because we're not comparing ourselves to us. We need to be working on us. What brings us true happiness here? Okay, only to my highest self. My thoughts are my reality. So I think of a bright new day. Every day is you have to have a positive outlook. Every day you have to tell yourself today is going to be a good day and hold yourself to that. And when you're feeling frustrated or angry, just be like, stop, breathe, and really focus on why you're feeling like that. And don't say anything that you don't mean okay so that is your reading for this week pisces i hope this resonates within you if it does please like subscribe and comment below your feedback does mean so much so please please do that and next up is aries other timestamps will be below much love and light headed your way take care Hello Aries and welcome to your reading from December 14th to December 20th. We are going to get started with your reading. reading. We are going to get started with your reading for this week. Aries, what is in store for Aries December 14th to the 20th? Okay. We have the Emperor. Strength and Ten of Wands reversed. Queen of Cups. The Sun... Temperance, Two of Pentacles, and King of Cups. So, 
here we have it, the emperor, responsibility, um, father figure, you're being looked up to this week, okay, maybe you haven't been feeling so, um, so strong this week, um, or maybe you're letting go of not feeling strong, right, so strength reversed, Maybe you've been feeling insecure or imbalanced with the Ten of Wands. You've been feeling maybe there's some irresponsibility. Yeah, <laughs> you really have to take responsibility, I do see here. Take responsibility or maybe you just been feeling like burned out in regards to responsibility okay but with the queen of cups it's coming in saying nurture yourself give yourself some compassion right let the fire ignite maybe give yourself some rest but it's like no pain no gain right sometimes you feel like everybody's like being so hard on you but this is just dif uh, disciplined but the downside is it warns against self-righteousness and intolerance people who don't work 60 hours a week aren't lazy they just know their limits okay but if you take a step back and look at the bigger picture the ten of wands tarot card will show you where your wheels are spinning. Sometimes it's hard to say no to others. Sometimes it's hard to show compassion to yourself. Sometimes it's hard to take a, just a few moment of time to really let your light shine through. Um, I do see that you are very trying very hard to let your light shine through. Um, with the temperance card, angels are definitely on your side. Um, channel your divine energy. It looks like you are working towards perfect harmony. You do know that the impossible is possible. And um, you're really just trying to balance right now. I do feel like, you know, wherever you're, you're lacking balance, you are going to pull through and nurture yourself. And maybe nurture others. Maybe you just have this codependency. You need to learn how to be in your individual self, right? What makes you happy? What makes you independent so that you can come through and be on fire, okay? Really tap into your in intuition, your spirituality. Um, with the crown, you know, it's like angels are really trying to help you this week to balance yourself, right? And to let go of the king of cups. And that's any manipulation that you have come to know in the past. Let go of the manipulation. Have control of your emotions. Okay? So have control. So that you can nurture yourself, okay? So that you can have balance this week. What, um, maybe, you know, sometimes it looks like you are walking away from something. Maybe this is abandonment. You could be feeling abandonment. But you are walking away to get to the tent of, to, uh, two of pentacles, I'm sorry. You are walking away from these cups to get to the two of pentacles, Okay. So I do see that very strongly you are wanting balance and you are going to get there. You just have to nurture yourself. Give yourself that self-love. Ignite the fire that's within you. Let's go ahead and pull some the results. What is the results for Aries? King of Swords, yeah, don't be so um, crazy with your actions. Um, learn to 
think before you speak. Because sometimes your barbaric actions, just be wise about your decision making. Okay, let's pull some advice moving forward for Aries. What does Beloved want to say moving forward? How do we work on this? What is the advice for Aries? Page of Swords. With the Page of Swords coming through, yeah, this is Unkept Promises. You know, um, rest your mind. You may feel a little wobbly, okay? But your advice is to just rest your mind from all of the paranoia, looking over your shoulder all of the time. You know, just be, use your brilliant mind to look at the current situation that you're in. Um, and don't be so blind to what's in front of you, right? Walk away from that negative and take that responsibility to move forward and nurture yourself and um, be wise in your actions, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some positive affirmations from our angels. Okay, cut this in half. I trust my inner wisdom and intuition. Yes, really tap into your gut feeling. What does your gut feeling tell you? If, the, if it tells you this is the wrong turn, don't make that turn, okay? You are wise with the king of swords. You just have to trust your intuition. What is your intuition telling you this week? Sorry. I am a money magnet and attract wealth and abundance. Yes, like you are on fire, right? You have the fire to ignite this wealth and abundance, right? And you just have to nurture yourself, be fierce, but also individual. Find your individualism. I trust myself to make the best decision for me. Right, so you have to, like, I, like it says, go with your intuition. Trust what your decision is made, uh, you know, the best decision for you. But be wise about it, okay? Because you, you are wise. I am an open channel for creative I ideas. Really tap into that creativeness that will bring you your individualism. Okay, that will help you gain your strength, help you gain your balance. I compare myself only to my highest self. You sometimes compare yourself to others. And this week, you should really work on comparing yourself to yourself. Okay, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, don't look at other what other people are doing. Look at what you are doing, how you can make that choice for yourself and don't look don't go to other people for answers you know the you know the answer follow your wisdom and your intuition okay so that is your reading for the month of um for the week of december 14th to the 20th up next is taurus if this reading does reside within you, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Your feedback does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you again next week. You have a wonderful week. Take care. Much love and light headed your way. Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your reading from December 14th to December 20th. We are going to go ahead and get started with your weekly reading. What is in store for you this week, Taurus? Two of Wands, Knight of Swords. Mm. 
Wow. Justice. Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups, okay, Two of Swords, Eight of Wands, okay. So we have a lot of wands on the table here. Two of wands reversed. You may be fearing something, okay? You may be imbalanced in your life, but you are taking the action to know the truth. And it's like I'm hearing the truth will set you free. Right, so you have the Ace of Wands. The truth is going to get you the Ace of Wands, okay? Uh, you have to learn how to let go of these false fears, these false starts, and start taking action to the truth, right? To get to the Ace of Wands. What the Ace of Wands means is there is a bright future, and the false of um, you know false starts are going to turn into inspiration. It's spirit saying, "Here, take this. It will help you. It's a brand new future, bright future ahead of you." With the seven of cups reversed, yeah, you you really gotta have determination because all of those dreams and, and fantasies are poured out onto this physical world. Um, they can overwhelm you. You really have to like figure out how they affect your, your everyday life. And, and this can vary. It depends on what your visions are, how you react to them. But I do see here the two of swords reverse lack of communication or just an information overload. I feel like. Yeah, it's like you are, the truths are coming at you so real this week. You know, there is a fresh new beginning, but you're learning so much that it is. It, it's an information overload, but you have to like really handle this with care, okay? And with the wands coming through, there is hope. But there also may be like stagnant. You may be feeling like I don't know where to begin. And that's okay. But there is hope on the other side of the tunnel. Um, it just points out that a situation cannot progress because important issues still need to be resolved. You still need to resolve the truth. What is the underlying truth? What is the justice? Like justice will be served. And what is that? Okay. You're moving away from this false start. You're starting. So continue figuring out this truth that, that you so seek. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some results. What is the tendency? Yeah. Yeah. Five of Cups. There is better times ahead, okay? But you have to let go of the loss. Um, pay attention to the risk that you're taking, but really tap into your inner child. What is it that you've been missing when it comes to your inner child, okay? Also, with the Knight of Pentacles, you are on your stable. You are ready to receive these gifts. But yes, Taurus, you will have the results that you want. You just really have to tap into your your childlike wonders and 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 tap into your truth, okay? So that is your results. Let's pull some advice for Taurus. Yeah. 
Your world is tumbling down because it's meant to. Okay, with the tower. Um, you feel like it is tumbling down because divine gifts are supposed to be coming through. Growth is supposed to be coming through. Things can't change unless... Things have to change in order for good things to come in. So know that everything is happening for a reason and the truth is coming to the light so that you can change and you can start um, having this bright future and start planning ahead and letting go of these false starts and really taking action to tapping into your divine gifts helping you grow into the person that you want to be. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some positive affirmations this week. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these. Okay. Shuffle those, split them in half. I let go of all the fa false stories I make up in my head. Yes, Taurus. So maybe this could be, you know, you have false starts because of all the stories you make up. Of what's going on in your head. You're not able to move forward. Okay. No more false stories. I play a big role in my own career success. Yes, only you can move forward towards success. I listen lovingly to this inner conflict and reflect on it until I get peace around it. Yeah, so listen to your inner intuition so that you can grow. Reflect on what's stopping you. So that you can get peace around it. Listen to yourself. The good thoughts, not the false stories. I feel the love of those who are not around me. Yes, your spirits are really coming through and saying, We are here for you, your passed down loved ones, your, guide, uh, your guardian angels. They're there for you. You have to reach out to them. You know that their love is around you all of the time. You are not alone. I'm beautiful and smart, and that's how everyone sees me. Yeah, so your, your angels really want you to know that everybody looks up to you. You are beautiful, and you are smart, Taurus. And that's how you should see yourself. So that is your reading for the this week. If this resonates within you, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Up next is Gemini. Other timestamps will be below. Take care. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading from the 14th to the 20th of December. We are going to get started with your weekly tarot. What is in store for Gemini? Ten of Cups reversed, Justice, we have the World reversed, Two of Wands, King of Swords, strength was reversed, Tower, Ace of Pentacles reversed, Two of Swords reversed, and Nine of Wands. All right, Ten of Cups reversed. There is some 
some blockage that you are trying to get the truth. There's hidden truths here about some creative block or some insight that you may be seeking. With the worlds coming in reversed, you really have to go into, um, stop looking at it from a 3D point of view and really tap into your consciousness. If you are ready for these energies, they will manifest themselves. But this is like basically um, follow your intuition. There are new perspectives and um, there could also be like psychic dreams. So really pay attention to your dreams. With the two of wands, you are future planning. And maybe that's why like you are having some hidden truths. Like you are really like coming into balance this week. With the King of Swords, you're very wise. So make wise decisions. And with the strength coming in reverse, maybe you feel some insecurity. Maybe you feel like you can't do it, but you can. You just have to make the wise choices. Maybe you fear that you're not able to do this future planning that you want. But with the tower coming through, there it is going to be a sudden change in your life this week. Um, but this could also mean like liberation or freedom from, from, from this, from this truth. And with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, yeah, it's like you're making up for lost opportunities. You're learning how to communicate, like you're no longer wanting to be blinded. And with the Nine of Wands, it's like you, with this reverse, it's you're trying to move forward. You're trying to progress. But there is some underlying issues um, that you need to focus on. And that could be like your insecurity or... You're just making those barbaric ash actions. You're not really thinking about how to handle them. It's like you're not thinking before you talk, so to say. Okay? Yeah, like you're battling yourself. Or you're battling those around you. It's like competition. Like you feel like you're always in competition with something or someone. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some results. Queen of Pentacles, you are the Earth Mother. People do look up to you with the Queen of Pentacles. There could have been some manipulation in the past, but you do have to treat yourself with royalty with kindness, with care. As, like, think of it as the same way that you would treat another person. Treat yourself that way. Give, you, give yourself those kind words. Okay? Moving forward, what is your advice, Gemini? Moving forward for Gemini, December 14th to the 20th. What does Beloved want to say for advice? All right, Nine of Cups. Temperance reversed. Three of Swords and the Star. You're definitely in this healing stage. So let go of any hurt, the trail that, that you feel. You could be overwhelmed with the messages that is trying to come through like your psychic um, because you could be receiving like psychic dreams. 
you know, like you just feel like you can't bear it, but your guardian angel is standing before you and it's telling you that the universe does love you and it is trying to heal you from this hurt and this pain and it's helping you to move forward with the Knight of Cups. It wants you to move forward. It doesn't want you, they don't want you to be in battle. Okay, so they are really shining through with the temperance card saying, yes, we, we understand. We get that, you know, you you feel like it's an overload, but we're helping you to get rid of this betrayal, this heartache, um, so that you can heal yourself, so that can, there can be new beginnings in your life, okay? Um, so really, like, tap into your intuition, um, rest your rest your mind so that way you can um, receive those dreams and those messages. Yeah, because there's transformation. Understand what's important in your life, okay? So that you can be free and, and liberated from those chains, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some positive affirmations, okay? Some positive affirmations for you, Gemini. I focus on breathing and grounding myself. Yeah, when you feel like it's just too much, like you're insecure, you just feel like there's just so much going on, breathe, meditate, ground yourself. I cannot give up until I have tried every conceivable way. You know, don't be so determined to cut corners and, you know, like really think about how you can find the solution to every problem. Sleep is very restorative, yeah, because they're trying to come through, through your dreams, your guardian angels. So rest, take a nap when you need to, and ensure you are getting all the sleep you need, because soon you'll feel much better. Yep. Sleep is going to give you the answers that you need. And it's going to, like, who doesn't love a nap? <laughs> it's okay. Whenever you find yourself thinking, I can't, stop yourself and replace that thought with, I can, I will, because you can. Yes, you can. You are able to move forward. Um, if you tell yourself that you can't, it's always going to be, I can't. So start looking in the mirror and say, I can and I will. I seek a new way of thinking about this situation. Yeah, when it gets to be too much, take a deep breather and seek a new way about this situation. And that goes back to, you know, try every conceivable way. Think anew about the situation. Sleep on it and then think about it again. The past has no power over me anymore. Very beautiful. It doesn't. You are a brand new person and you are transforming. There is this spiritual awakening. You are being liberated. Spirits are coming through and um, really showing you that you have the divine power. So really tap into that. And I hope this resonates within you and you have some clarity this week, Gemini. Much love and light headed your way. And next up is Cancer. Much love and light. Take care. Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your reading from December 14th to December 20th. We are going to get started. What would the love I'd like to say for Cancer? Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, the Chariots, Two of Pentacles, the Sun,
Ace of Pentacles reversed the star and Knight of Swords. Okay. So, Page of Cups. You are a very creative person, Cancer. Um, you have creative abilities. And, you know, try to tap into the, those creative abilities this week. We also have... Eight of Swords. And this means, you know, there's there's going to be some change this week. Um, you could be getting over, you know, feeling in prison, imprisonment, you know, any isolation. Um, you're going to be getting over this. You know, any, any battle that you have going on in regards to this, you know, things are going to change. Um, you're going to feel a, a shift, you know. Um, you, you may be a little bit tired when it comes to this, but really uh, tap into your creativity with the Page of Cups, okay? And, and, and you know, the, it's going to bring you um, some messages when it comes to um, synchronicity and, and, and creativity, you know? So, so let those messages flow. Um, let go of, uh, of this eight of swords because, you know, this is only bringing you isolation. So it looks like you're coming out of this, uh, this week, Cancer, and you're, um, really going into your victorious moment, right? And that means, um, balance, having the balance, um, in your life. So two of pentacles, balance, adaptive. Um, you're adapting to these changes, right? Because you do have the sun. You are on fire, okay? The sun just means, you know, you're bringing more warmth into your life. You're um, seeing things for what they truly are. You are the shining sun, right? So crap, uh, tap into those creativities. Um, and then with the ace of pentacles reverse, this is just potential, um, really, uh, this could be materialistic. There could be materialistic coming in. Maybe you're manifesting, um, abundance in your life, but maybe you're just, uh, manifesting, you know, this, this healing, um, from, from being so tied and, and stuck, right? From this feeling, you're healing yourself so that you can manifest and, and grow, Right, and it does look like with the Knight of Swords, there is motion. You're moving forward from this, okay? With the Knight of Swords, there is, um, you are a very opinionated person, um, and but it just you're swifting through all of these energies, and you're just really trying to heal yourself this week. Cancer, I do see that, so that you can manifest properly, um, so that you can tap into your creativeness, right? And with the sun coming through in the middle, it's like you are on fire. And don't you ever forget that. Don't let anybody dull your shine. Um, you are right where you need to be um, Where when it comes to balance and, and manifestation. You are definitely healing that part of you. So let's go ahead and pull some results for Cancer. What are the results for Cancer from the 14th to the 20th? All right, so if you do these things, you're healing from the heartbreak, okay, with the Three of Swords. Um you're communicating now, okay? You know, try to communicate better. Um, you're getting over the um, separation, the heartbreak, the grief, right? And with the three, uh, I'm sorry, five of swords, you are, yeah, it's like this tension of heartbreak, of separation, it's being... Um, any defeat in your life, you know, that that's releasing. You're going to release this. This is the result from from healing yourself, right? So you are letting go of this 
heartbreak, okay? That is your results this week. And moving forward, what does Cancer need to work on? Yeah, look. Ace of Wands, reverse, potential, um, creation, inspiration. Yes, Ace of Wands is all about that creativeness, right? So really tap into that. Um, it also means fire. Look, you are on fire when it comes to your creativeness. Okay, this could also be a fire sign. Maybe a fire sign is coming in towards you. Um, but I do see, you know, moving forward, really tap into that creativeness and follow your intuition when it comes in, in regards to any projects that you want to finish. Now is the week to do it. Page of Swords. That just means there is going to be messages coming in. Uh, you're going to feel um, very energetic when it comes to this uh, project. You're going to be very curious. You're going to want to learn more and and do it. Really search deep down. Um, learn about that certain thing. If you, if you have been wanting to start this new project, new business, new anything, Gain the knowledge, gain the, uh, you're going to be really energetic when it comes to this, okay? So that is your messages for the week. Um, I am going to start pulling some positive affirmations from the angels. So let's go ahead and pull five of those. Okay. I am a money magnet and attract wealth and abundance. Look at that. Yes, you are, Cancer. You are attracting wealth and abundance for sure. And this could be re related to the um, creative projects, right? You are going from rags to riches. I am deeply fulfilled with who I am. Yes, you are the shining star. Don't let anybody dull your shine. I trust my inner wisdom and intuition. Yes, yes, let go of any hurt. Trust in that you will be guided by your spirits, right? Because you are being healed. All right, we got two more. I am more than good enough and I get better every day. Yes, Cancer, like sometimes we tell ourselves that we're not good enough. I don't know how we're going to get through. You know, sometimes we really just like talk down on ourselves, but angels want to let you know that you are good enough and you are working towards this every day. Last but not least, I trust myself to make the best decision for me. Yes, really, like, yeah, don't ever dull your shine, okay? Really work and, and trust your intuition and to try, to get over this, this heartbreak, um, any betrayal, um, because you have the willpower, right? Trust that intuition. You make the right decision every single time. So really trust that, okay? So Cancer, that is your reading for this week. Next up is Leo. If this resonates within you, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Your feedback is most important to me. Thank you so much. Leo is next. Take care, much love and light headed your way. Other timestamps will be below. Hello Leo and welcome to your reading from December 14th to December 20th. We are going to get started. The deck has been shuffled. If you, um, if this resonates within you, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Let's go ahead and get started. What is in store for this week for Leo? December 14th to the 20th. Two of Pentacles reversed. So you're getting over some imbalance in your life. Okay. Okay. All right. I see. 
Yeah. Eight of Swords reversed is um, change. Um, maybe you um, are just trying to get over this change, right? You're, um, maybe you just feel like you are in isolation right now. Um, there's some hidden truths from you with the Justice card. Um, yeah, like... There is some hidden truths. Like, I feel like some maybe someone's not being so truthful to you. Maybe you just feel, like, stuck or isolated. Um, I feel like because it's just imbalanced right now. Like, you're not, you're not feeling balanced. When it comes to Seven of Pentacles, yeah, when it comes to faith, I feel like you um, and... You're feeling stuck when it comes to your vision. Maybe this could be an, an investment that you've made. Maybe there was a bad investment that you need truth on or clarity on. Um, maybe any profit coming in. Like it, It's just like something is blocking you. So let's go ahead and pull some more tarot for Leo. Yeah, you're getting over this heartbreak. With the three of uh, swords, um, you're getting over some communication. There might be grief when it comes to um, your your uh, an investment. Knight of swords. Yeah, it's just like you're not moving anywhere. You're being very stagnant when it comes to this money coming through. Or this could be like financial hardship. Yeah, you're very, you're battling right now with the seven of wands. Okay, so seven means like faith, but wands is like you feel like you're in competition. You feel like you're in competition. Knight of Swords, you're not moving. You're, you're very opinionated, Leo. Um feel like maybe you're you're just battling like this this communication problem this separation this grief maybe you're grieving over um some money complications i feel like let's pull one more tarot leo there's definitely some hidden truths there like you you're just trying to find an answer for something yeah look 10 of cups completion like you're you're looking for completion happiness alignment you're just battling to to feel completed in your life and there will be um you just really have to get over you have to find the truth right you have to um stop grieving so much maybe on the past um, when it comes to, you know, money coming in, if there is money coming in, you know, this has to, I feel like this has to do with a business with the seven of pentacles. This could be like a lack of faith. Like you're not satisfied with the, with the faith. Like you, you're just not having any faith. You feel like you're in competition with something or someone and it's stopping you from feeling balanced right now. So what is the result of this this week? Yeah, five of cups. Five meaning adversity, cups meaning um, loss, regret. You know, like maybe you're feeling just, yeah. If you continue to go down this path, you're just always going to feel lost. You're going to feel like regret in your, in your decision making regret in what you find the truth about yeah like i feel like because of all of this you're just like if you continue down this path it's just gonna lead you to to regret let's pull some more tarot 
Uh, this is some advice from Beloved. How do we get over this? Seven of Swords. So there's definitely betrayal. Have faith. Start having a little bit more faith in yourself, in your work, so you can receive, you know, satisfaction in all that you do. I feel like because with this being in reverse, it's like maybe you're not being truthful with yourself. Maybe you're hiding what you really feel. You're hiding behind this this heartbreak, this betrayal. You're not moving forward. You feel like you're in competition, uh, maybe with yourself. You know, have faith that everything's going to work out to your satisfaction here. Okay? So that is your reading for this week. Let's go ahead and pull some positive affirmations from your angels. Okay, yes, distant yourself from that which is stressing you out and look at it from a different perspective. This will help you find the solutions you seek. Yeah, I feel like you're being really stressed out this week. Like you have to look at it from a different perspective. Have faith. And really take a step back and uh, maybe that's distancing yourself from those um, around you, toxic people, um, toxic situations. Look at it from a different point of view and really that will help you find the solutions you seek. Let's pull another card, Leo. From now on, I choose to totally believe in myself and my ability to achieve anything that I set my mind to. Yeah, you're just not believing in yourself. You're staying stuck because you're not, you don't have faith in yourself. And I, yeah, I do fully, fully strongly believe like, yeah, that's what's going on. It's, it's in your mind. You can do anything you set your mind to to have the satisfaction, but you're not believing in yourself. Stay away from negative people and situations. Do what makes you happy with people you who love you exactly the way you are. Yeah, maybe you just have some negative people around you. Stay away from those people and those situations. Maybe there's some toxicness uh, going into your life right now. And uh, you got to cut those ties. And it's okay to do that because... The people that do make you happy are exactly the people who need to be in your life right now. From now on, I choose to stand up for myself when necessary and be assertive in a kind and calm manner because my feelings matter. Yeah, maybe uh, people are pushing you over the edge. You got to stand up for yourself. But kindly and calmly so that you don't become a jerk to these people. Okay, but um, yeah, two more. I let go of worries that drain my energy. Yeah, it, it's all in the mind. Let go of any worries because everything's supposed to happen for a reason. Um, let go of the of the competition because that's I, I do feel strongly that you are draining your own self with the worries that happen in your mind. Last but not least, oh, we have a few others. So really, spirits are saying, look, I draw from my inner strength and light. Go deep within. Really, like, what makes you happy, Leo? I kindly ask for guidance if I cannot see another way. Yeah, angels are saying, call upon us. Ask us for help. Ask us to relieve these um, heartaches relieve you know anything that stands in my way i forgive myself for all the mistakes i have made yeah maybe you're you're grieving right now maybe you made a couple of investment mistakes you know that you you just like oh my god you're like you're it's like you're beating yourself up right and you have to really forgive yourself in order to move forward to feel satisfaction in your life okay to have faith Forgive yourself first and foremost and then forgive others. But also, don't let people push you over. 
very beautiful. I hope this resonates within you. And if it does, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Your feedback is most important. Next up is Virgo. Much love and light headed your way. Other timestamps will be below. Take care. Hello Virgo and welcome to your reading from December 14th to December 20th. We are going to go ahead and get started. Virgo, what is happening in your life this week? December 14th to December 20th. Queen of Swords. Quick-witted. Your uh, influencer. Quick thinker. You have a deep perspective on things. Perceptive. Yeah. Quick thinker. You're very quick. Two of swords, three of pentacles. Yeah, you're a quick thinker when it comes to choices. Three of Pentacles is uh, communication, but also like balance, adapt, adaptive. Maybe you're not feeling, um, I'm sorry, teamwork, collaboration. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you're resolving that. You're resolving getting over this lack of communication, lack of teamwork, lack of collaboration. Okay, let's go ahead and pull some more. Yeah, because you're very independent, so you're learning how to collaborate with others. Yeah. Temperance. Balance. You're 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 learning how to find balance. You're learning how to find your purpose, okay? Very beautiful. Eight of Wands, change. There could be travel, but this definitely means like you're moving forward past this, these two. Lack of communication, lack of balance, um, lack of not being able to see clearly, lack of um, maybe trust, you know, trusting in, in your team, um, trusting in your uh, work but yeah you're definitely getting over this um, maybe uh, with this week you're definitely attempting to work with others and communicate a little bit better and just understand that you know even though you are an independent person you still need to be able to communicate and work with others right and and angels are going to come through and really help you with that this week Go ahead and pull one more tarot. The Empress. Yeah. You have lots of um, fruitful growth when it comes to the Empress. Like, you are the beauty queen. You are on top of your throne. And you are a very feminine person. This could be man or woman. You know, just because it's the Empress doesn't mean, um, you know, this is towards women only. Like, you have a feminine side. So, really, like, tap into that beauty, like, within yourself, right? Right. Um, so let's go ahead and pull some results. If you really tap into that, what is going to happen? Yeah. Okay, you're going to move. You're going to move forward. You're going to move past... Um, the lack of communication, you're going to move past the feeling like you can't collaborate with others with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's very efficient. Um, you're, you're starting to build this routine, right? And um, with the Seven of Swords, you are having faith when it comes to like any 
betrayal that ever happened to your life like you're having faith that everything is going to be okay like you're moving past this betrayal right uh you're moving past the the battle um so the battle is almost over you know and and you're not feeling like yeah this is very beautiful you're not feeling like the whole world is on your shoulders right because now you are starting to collaborate with with others um you are taking a load off with the um yeah there's some completion happening with the 10 of wands um any any burden that you once felt like now you're feeling responsible because there it's you're you're moving past being um feeling like everything was on your shoulders and with the page of cups you know there is messages coming through with um with a page of cups yeah you're you're really like tapping into your creativity so really tap into that creativity so that you can move forward and um and not feel like everything is is on your shoulders yeah and that goes back to you know tap into your creativeness and and work w with others okay so let's go ahead and pull some advice moving forward Okay, that was a lot of cards. Energies is everywhere. So moving forward, I just saw a card flip. Maybe not. Moving forward for Virgo. The Tower. All right, so with the tower this could be a sudden change in your life you may feel like um everything is tumbling down all at once you may feel like there, it's a disaster but everything is supposed to tumble down to really build yourself back up right there's an upheaval um so yeah this this could be a shocking change um but you are going to move past this so you know moving forward really look at how you can how you can move forward from from being burdened from your creativity you know how how can you collaborate with others how can you it, it okay with the new moon of sagittarius we are all in this learning stage right so we have to learn how to be a student again and really cra uh, tap into our creative ability so that we can be fruitful okay so that is your reading let's go ahead and pull some positive affirmations for virgo Positive affirmations for Virgo. All right, let's go ahead and split this in half. Angels would like to say, you are doing too much. Yeah, let go. Let go of all, the, all of the unnecessary tasks and activities and give yourself time for loving care. Yeah, that's why like the sudden change is happening so that you, it's like you are doing way too much Virgo. Let loose. Anything that is like bogging you down, give yourself time. Self care. Love your, love yourself. Okay. And maybe with the page of cups coming through, it's like you know, really take time from that creativity. Is what I'm what I'm seeing here now. Take time for yourself. Um, okay, very, very good. Next up, I draw from my inner strength and light. Yes, really tap into your um, inner intuition. You know, what is your intuition telling you? Is it telling you to rest? Yeah, yes, it is. Let go of all of that. Let go of what is hurting you. Um, tap into your strength and light. You know, that's really going to guide your way. I kindly ask for guidance if I cannot see another way. Yeah, if you feel like, you know, you're doing all that you can, ask for guidance um, from your angels, from your from your loved ones, from your past loved ones, from, from your guardian, um, yeah, your guardian angels, and they will show you another way to 
to deal with these types of situations. Whenever you find yourself thinking, I can't, stop yourself and replace the thought with, I can, I will, because you can, yeah. Sometimes we tell ourselves, I can't do this because I don't have this. I can't do that because, you know, I'm just so busy. I'm so busy. I feel like that's what's coming at me. I'm so busy. But if you really, like, let go of all of that and tell yourself, I can stop these things to give myself time, you will, okay? Uh, to, to give yourself some of that strength, regain your energy, I am a money magnet and I attract wealth in abundance. Yeah, so wherever, like, if you just give yourself that time, if you give yourself that time to re-energize, you will be able to see that you can attract this wealth in abundance and knowledge and it's going to happen over time. Um, but you have to give yourself the necessary time and loving care to yourself right with the empress coming through the things that you would normally tell another person tell that to yourself because that's really going to help you this week okay and um don't be so quick to your actions because you are independent right so and this just means like you're being quick for for movement so don't be so quick really think about what it is that you're doing this week and and give yourself some time because you are a money magnet and you do attract the wealth when it comes to um, business or finances so you have the money okay but don't let that bog you down from anything moving forward okay virgo that is your reading for this week much love and light headed your way if this resonates within you please 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 like subscribe and comment below your feedback is most important we are going to move on to libra other timestamps will be below hello libra and welcome to your reading for december 14th to the 20th we are going to go ahead and get started and i just want to point out at the very bottom of the deck is strength you are very strong libra and angels just want to let you know that you know, um, wherever you feel insecurity, like just have the courage to know that that you are very strong um, and, and you're very nurturing. Like, look at you petting that lion. OK, like you are very nurturing, like be that strength for yourself. OK, um, angels are coming through saying and we will help you have that strength as well. So very beautiful to start off with. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot for Libra, December. Okay. Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Four of Cups, um, stability. Um, you're having stability with um, any complication, contemplation, apathy. Um yeah, whereas <laughs> I feel like when you were crying over spilled milk before, you're really letting spirit come through and help you have this strength, right? Um, Knight of Pentacles, um, where you were, you know, not so stable, where you were not moving, you're really um, having spirit like guide you with the uh, Knight of Pentacles, you know, like maybe you're getting into this um, routine, like maybe you're uh, routine and, and oriented. Um, but I feel like here there, there was some delay maybe in the past and maybe it was because of this um, Four of Cups, you know, you, you were crying over spilled milk, but now you're not, now you're not. Now you're letting spirit guide you. So let's go ahead and pull some more Libra. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. With the Ten of Swords. Completion. You are completing this cycle this week with the Ten of Swords. You are completing the defeat, the loss, the crisis, the betrayal, anything that has really hurt you. Like, you are ending this cycle. Very beautiful, Libra. All right, let's go. Like, you are truly finding yourself again, I feel like. Um, something that you've been waiting for for, uh, for a very long time. 
Two of Swords, yes. Any lack of com um, any lack of balance, any lack of clarity, like you are now able to see again, okay? You're able to make choices in your life that, um, you know, good choices in your life um, because you have, you have, um, you're having balance when it comes to this. All right, Libra. Energy is just all over the place for you. Yeah, wherever you felt like... <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Look, okay. First of all, you're getting over this betrayal. You're getting over this lack of um, being not being able to move forward, right? You are getting over these chains that have once like kept you from being free, right? With the Ten of Swords, you're getting over this. Now you're coming into the Page of Swords, which means like messages are being brought to you. Um, with the Page of Swords, it's like you're very curious about the person who you wanna be. You're very energetic, okay? Um, yeah, when it comes to family, with the Ten of Pentacles, um, there's some completion with um, with wealth. You're you're becoming very well established, maybe with who you are, who you want to be, what you want in life. I do feel strongly with that. Like you just see like this vision in your head that you want all of these things, and you will have them, right? Because you're you're coming out of this. You're completing what what once what was and now it's like what is what do you want right knight of wands you're having the courage the strength to move forward from this where before you felt very stagnant now with the knight of wands you are moving um you have the energy the passion the adventure it's like you yes you want the Ten of Pentacles. You are striving forward. You are moving forward. You are collaborating. Uh, you're you're um, collaborating with other people when it comes to work. You have this very um, teamwork oriented. Okay, you're you're really um, opening up and communicating, right? And with the Hierophant, Yes, you are in total belief, spirituality, like people are really looking up to you, like maybe you're tapping into your, um, into traditions, maybe you're going back to work, um, okay, like maybe, yeah, shared wealth, okay, with the six of pentacles, growth. Yes, you are growing into the person that you want to be. Um, generosity, charity, giving. You are a very giving person. Okay, so yes, I do see. Oh my gosh, Libra. Very beautiful. You are ending these trials so that you can have growth, stability, happiness in your life. Courage to, to stand up for what you believe in. Right? So that's what that means, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some uh, tarot for, we're going to pull some tarot for some results. What is the tendency? Shed some light on. Yep. Six of wands. So yeah, growth. You're having growth with your self-confidence. Yeah, and I do see that. Like, whereas before, like, you didn't have the confidence to, like, move forward. Like, you are breaking these chains. You are progressing into the person that you want to be, Libra. And that's very beautiful. I love it. You are definitely growing. What is some advice from Beloved? Yeah, you're walking away from the Five of Cups. 
you're walking away from any loss, any regret, anybody who has ever made you feel less than of yourself, you are definitely walking away from that, okay? Like you're no longer going to feel like you're this crappy person or whatever anybody has told you in the past, like you are letting go of that, right? And you are now progressing and into a person that you want to be, how you see yourself, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some positive affirmations for Libra. What do the angels want to let you know? Very powerful reading. I do love that this week. There's some very powerful readings this week. And I feel like everybody is growing in their own way. All right, let's cut this in half. First card out. Oops. From now on, I choose to totally believe in myself and my ability to achieve anything that I set my mind to. Yes, anything that has held you back in the past, um, anything that anybody has said to you in the past, like, like you, you're like, no, like that's not who I am. I'm believing in myself and my ability to achieve anything. And, and you are, you are getting over that, right? Distance yourself from that which is stressing you out and look at it from a different perspective. This will help you find the solutions you seek. Okay, very beautiful. Yeah, like anything that's stressing you out, it's like believe in yourself that you have the ability to walk away from that situation or that person um, and look at it from a different perspective and find a different solution to it. I let go of worries that drain my energy. Yes, like you're letting go of that hurt, of that pain, of those people. Um, and really like in your mind, like let go of those false energies so that it doesn't drain you. Like and you can drain yourself, okay? So let go of those worries because you are doing everything that you can to, yeah, I draw from my inner strength and light. Like you are very strong, Libra. And sometimes we lose sight of that. So really like follow your intuition when it comes to your strength and your light and what makes you happy. Last but not least, I kindly ask for guidance if I cannot see another way. Yeah, ask your angels. Okay, your angels are here. No more crying over spilled milk. You are, you are very loved by your guidance and they want you to ask for help, okay? They want to help you, guide you, heal you, okay? So that you can come into perfect harmony. Like you are manifesting this, this family. You're manifesting yourself and what you love and, and, and your belief, right? So continue to collaborate with others, continue to manifest, and continue to ask for your guidance. That is your weekly reading. If this resigns within you, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Up next is Scorpio and um, other timestamps will be below. Take care. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your reading for December 14th to the 20th. You are last but not least. I know you've been waiting patiently for this moment, but here is your reading. Let's go ahead and get started. Scorpio, what would beloved like to say for this week? Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, oh, missed one, Page of Wands, The Star,
Wheel of Fortune. Very beautiful card. Queen of Swords. Okay. That was reverse. Ace of Swords. You are at your fullest potential right now. You have the um, power, victory, clarity. You are coming into clarity. Um, maybe your dreams are helping you come into that clarity or that power. So really pay attention to your dreams this week with the Seven of, uh, seven of Cups. So... Yes, yeah, Seven of Cups, you know, have faith in, in your fantasies, your imagination, um, because, it, yeah, really pay attention to your dreams, because that with the Two of Wands, it's going to help you discover anything that wasn't able to see before. So you're going to have clarity when it comes to these uh, dreams, okay? So really pay attention or, you know, you're really working at what you want in your life, okay? All these uh, riches, material, um, whatever it is that you've been wanting, you are definitely um, progressing towards that, okay? With the star coming through, there is hope, there is renewal, there's new beginnings, okay? Like, you are really hoping for this, and with the page of wands you know there is definitely some messages coming through uh you could be a very intuitive person but there is definitely messages coming through through your dreams um but also with the page of wands you are a very enthusiastic person and you are definitely looking for the discoveries like you're you're on this life journey right will of fortune yes it is destined you know any karma um, they are reaping what they sow. Anything bad done to you, they are reaping what they sow, and you are destined to find this um, this answer, this journey. You are destined to have this raw power, right? With the Queen of Swords, you know you are a uh, very um, you are uh, you are influenced. Okay, so you're a very quick thinker, and and you do have the ability to take these types of actions, right? Have the courage to take these actions and um, really listen for the messages at hand. So let's go ahead and pull some results or let's shed some light for Scorpio. Shed some light for Scorpio. What is Scorpio? Okay, all right. Yeah. King of Cups. You have to let go of any authority. Maybe you... Scorpio, you are very um, control of right now. With the King of Cups, find some emotional balance when it comes to controlling. Because once you do that, the Ten of Cups is going to shine through, okay? And this is, you know, Ten means completion. You're no longer going to feel like you need this authority. You're no longer going to feel like you're emotionally imbalanced. And with the Ten of Cups, there's going to be happiness alignment so once you let go of this authority or controlment um, you will be able to experience true happiness in your life very beautiful I'm just going to leave that down here let's go ahead and pull some advice moving forward for Scorpio all right yep if you just you know yeah, it's like spirits are really coming through, and, and you do notice this. 
So, like, really, like, with the four, it's like you, there is stability coming and there is completion or contemplation. So, you're really like, what if this and what if that? Like, no, this is destined for you. Okay. And really, like, let spirit talk to you through your dreams or through manifesting. Um, but yeah, it seems like you are in competition or you're battling um, the spiritual side and also with the page of pentacles coming through. You're battling the messages that are like coming towards you. Um, you're battling the manifestation, like this new enterprise. So just know that spirits are saying it's okay. Um, this, this is all supposed to happen in your life you know, just really, like, let us help you listen to those messages that are being brought to you, okay, yeah, you are beautiful, you, you are supposed to be, um, you know, the divine feminine, okay, so really let them help you see the true beauty that lies beneath, okay, so let's go ahead and pull some affirmations from your angels, Yes, the past has no power over me anymore. Yes, yeah, so any past mistakes, any um, anything that has like hurt you, like it has no more power over you. Let go of that. I compare myself only to my highest self. Yeah, stop care. Stop comparing yourself to others because that's only going to bring you down even more. Like you are good just the way you are right and they want you to know that like only compare yourself to you not anybody else let's go ahead and pull some more for scorpio okay go ahead and cut this in half From now on, I choose to totally believe in myself and my ability to achieve anything that I set my mind to. Yeah, no more looking for validation from anybody else. Believe in yourself and you can do anything you want. Distance yourself from that which is stressing you out and look at it from a different perspective. This will help you find the solutions you seek. Yeah, let go of any stress that has been really like really bogging you down. I let go of worries that drain my energy. Yeah, I feel like you are a, a worry bug when it comes to this. Yeah, because you're just, you're, you're contemplating. Okay, so when you stop that worrying, you're no longer going to feel like you're in com competition with anybody. You're going to, you're going to start believing in what you can achieve and, and stop draining your own energy. So, Scorpio, that is your reading for December 14th to the 20th. Much love and light headed your way. If this resonates within you, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Take care.